Hey, Kayla. I got to walk in. It's a Scout Ricket. It's got a Langus. I'll go over here. That's some bark. It's OK. I don't think Teresa, gonna... let's see if this one's got to use the bathroom. I'm like, let's check. OK, it's cool. How you all doing? Good. Dr. Blue, good to see you all. Hello. I see that Scout is having a tough morning. Yes. All I know is he can't walk. Yesterday, my daughter put him in his crate. I don't know if something happened with that or if he saw something and he thought he needed to get out. I've seen that. Okay. Dogs will jump on the kennel and their hand gets in there or they'll be kind of digging and then they'll try to, whoop, okay. and it gets locks up. And it's like, ugh. Yeah. You know, you, you separate it a little bit or sprain it. They can also break or dislocate. When we came home last night, it was horrible. It was so sad because it, you're like, ugh. He's just in pain. He's such a sweet boy. Right now, you're not seeing who he normally is, but he's crazy, he's energetic, he loves people, and he loves animals. It's just so sad when he can't jump around and be crazy like he normally is. Well, we're going to get down to the nitty gritty. Do you mind if we go out in the hallway? I'd like to see him walk. So. OK. Come on. I'll get up again. That's no problem. Come on, we're going to go this way. <laughs> He's so happy. He's definitely got the head bob going. Come on. So yeah, that head bob lets me know there's definitely some pain. He's actually painful when that leg is trying to touch the ground. So he's taking the weight and the pressure off him by throwing that head up. <laughs> he's going to give a couple more jumps. <laughs> his personality is trying to overcome his pain. I, mean, that's, I can see that. That's a good thing. So I'm going to do some palpation on his foot. I'm going to start up high just because I feel like he's painful down low. That's what we got. Okay, 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 okay. Let him up, let him up. He's upset. So, obviously, it's the toes. Okay. What I would recommend we do is get an x-ray of his paw. Doing x-rays on the dog is fine, and we can go over it after you're done. All right. Thank you. Give us a couple minutes. All right. All right. God bless him. I hope he's okay. All right, all done? Yes. Perfect, perfect. Let me see what we got. I'm going to get Dr. Ross real quick, see if he'll just look at these with me. I just always like for somebody else to put another set of eyes on it. Give me one second, OK? All right. Hold him there. Scout came in limping, so I took some x-rays to see what's going on. What up? What up, man? Just looking for you. So real quick, dog. Pain on his toe. I don't see a break at all, but I just wanted to confirm with you, because sometimes, you know, you get those lucencies that are run by. That looks straight to you, right? No no breaks, no fractures, especially on this phalange here. No, it looks good. I mean, we got some inflammation, but I don't see any fracture or break. Okay. Uh, just soft tissue injury. Yeah. Is he uh, put weight on it? Intermittently. OK. But he's still laying. He's three out of four, I would say. Uh, it looks good. All right. How's it going? All right, here's mom. All right. So, and Grandma. <laughs> where's the dog? Oh, he's out there. He's out there. He walked past him. He said, no, he, I didn't he, even... he said I'm out of here. I'm blowing the popsicle stand. <laughs> so the good news is we do not have a fracture. Good. Good. OK? Our concern is there's more white opacity or whiteness to this toe, and it looks a little larger. And that's because of swelling and inflammation. OK. So that tells me that. We either rolled it, got it stuck. OK. However it goes, it's what we call a soft tissue injury. OK. What we're going to do is get some pain medication and rest. OK. And then I want to see him back in about two weeks to see how he's doing. Thank you. Thank All right, you. this way. Some soft tissue damages are so bad, they can almost be lame where they're not using that leg at all. In this case, if there's some abnormalities that still persist, there's something a little bit more involved that I may need to recheck. You ready, huh? Piper the dachshund is recovering from her bladder stone surgery. She's doing well, but she's not quite 100% back to her normal self. But I'm sure once she gets home, she'll perk up. All right, let's go see your mama. Hey. Hey. How's it going? Oh, look at you. All right, oh, better. Yeah, you got it. Look good, baby. So she did really well. That stone 
like you saw an x-ray. It was huge. It was huge. I saved one of those stones for you. We sent one out. You ready for it? Wow. There you go. That's huge. I mean, yeah, for a dog her size, that is huge. That's huge. Uh, to be in your bladder. Wow. So no you're welcome to take it if you want it. You can I'll, keep it. I'll definitely um, keep it. Show it to everybody. Yeah, a little keepsake. Yeah. I'm going to figure out the type of crystals and stones being produced in the bladder, and we'll choose a diet based on that information. Some of the prescription urinary diets are formulated so that it makes the pH of the urine more balanced so that these crystals don't develop. She's been doing great. Haven't really been seeing any blood in the urine. Well, I'll give you a call once I get the results back on right. the stone. Just want to kind of keep an eye on her urinating. If you see her straining or you're seeing blood in there, let me know. I will. She's got a little wrap on her leg where her right. catheter was. You can right. take that off when you get home. Right. OK. And other than that, just give me a call if you notice any problems Jump at home, home, any issues. And uh, we'll go from there. All right. Sounds All right. good. Thank right. you so take much. Care. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. See you, Piper. Ready to go home? Yeah, we go home. Scout, the golden retriever, was here about two weeks ago due to a soft tissue injury. I'm going to recheck him to see how he's progressing. You limping? He limped around for like a week. He was in pain. When he felt better, I could hear him going upstairs to get to her. I understand you're the real owner? Yes, but he loves me the most. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can you shake? Let me see that paw. Good boy. Good job. Let's take him outside. I want to do a lameless exam and see how he does with that. OK. And right there in the middle. All right, now trot to me. Come on, Scout. Yep, don't let me <laughs> OK, OK, trot, Scout, Scout. <laughs> OK, here, OK. I just want to see something here. I took Scout outside for a gait analysis, making sure that we don't have any head bobbing, no limping on that limb, delayed flicking of the wrist or anything of that nature. Good boy. All right, let's go back inside. Come on. OK, so the jury's out. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> no, he's he's really good. Yeah. He's bearing weight on that limb really well. He's not hit, bobbing at all, and he's not being light on that paw. Even when I shook it, I squeezed the toe, he was fine with it. He's healing great, but I still want you to keep a good eye on his activity for the next couple of weeks. Does he sleep in your room? No, he sleeps downstairs because he's crazy. Because <laughs> he goes in a room and gets her socks. She goes, I wonder what's all in that stomach. Because he will eat anything. You got to stop him. We try. That's like $3,000 worth of surgery. I don't know if you plan on picking up extra job this summer. <laughs> OK? But and I'm being so serious. I and, am, too. And I, and I know it we, can be difficult, but. We pull it out of his mouth. I have to hold him down. Hopefully, we don't see you back for x-rays. <laughs> All right, big boy. I'll see you later. Bye. Right, we hope boy. not to see you soon. <laughs> I hope not to see you guys either.